What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of VGC Bootcamp where I challenge the online ladder and hope to not actually get completely destroyed again today. So uh, we are using the same team as before with the Driftbloom, Tuppyfinny, Arcanine, Garchomp, Kartana, and the Snorlax coming in hot. We uh, got two wins in the last episode and now we're sitting at 12-5 and five and a 16-19 ready. Hopefully we can keep that going tonight and uh, find some more battles to win. We're right off the bat we got this guy, 1526 from Japan. Coming out with a team of Cortana, Tapu Lele, Arcanine, the P2, the Braviary, ugh, and the Gigalith. So, what do I want to do, you ask? Well, that's a good question. Okay. So, standard lead. I like the standard lead. I have to bring Snorlax in case he goes to Trick Room. Of course and I think let's see hmm Cortana could do good um, Arcanine could do good eh, Arcanine can do great I'm leaning more toward Kartana, but Garchomp would be nice to have too. Ah, let's go Kartana. Let's do that. Let's lock in with those four and let's get this first battle on the road. Boom. Always oh, hit the white T, the white tank top. So Drifloom and Tapu Fini coming out from my side, and he is going to bring out uh, the Arcanine and the Tapu Lele. Very, very nice. So Intimidate coming off from both sides. Or, on both of my Pokemon, I sh rather should say. Uh, his Lele is slower than his Arcanine, so we know it's not Scarfed. The Misty Seed's going to pop. And first off, we'll just go ahead and get the Tailwind off. Uh, let's see. And we'll just go for a Protect. Turn one, uh, simple simple defensive play. So you get, get set up. Uh, try not to get hit by a uh, Wild Charge if he has it, Electrium Z if he has it. So Protect's going to go off, Tailwind's going to go up. He's going to do Snarl. So he's uh, going to be a defensive or not supportive uh, type Arcanine here. And there is a, uh, seems to be a Psychium Z, the uh, Shutter Shiki coming out from the top of Lele. Now the question is, is, does he go into the Drift Bloom or does he go into the Protect on the top of Finny? And here it comes, and it is going to go into the Drifloom. The Drifloom's going to bounce around. Uh, maybe plus one. In oh, actually, plus one takes that really good. So we know he has uh, the Z, Z. Oh my God, Z Crystal on to his um, Lele. We have Snorlax and. Uh, Cartana in the back. So right here, I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, probably still the berry right here. I think that's a good idea. And then just go for a, a muddy water would be fine on to both of his Pokemon. Because most defensive sets usually carry a type of healing berry. So if he has one, I'm gonna take that from him. And he does have the citrus berry. <laughs> and we'll eat that right back up. Thank you very much. Get my health back. And no protects, and the Muddy Water connects on both Pokemon. And uh, good damage onto the Arcanine, and he is just gonna go for a Snarl. Very nice, very nice. Uh, lowers my attack on, on the top of Finny, but that is okay. Thunderbolt's gonna come off from his top of Lele onto the Jerk Bloom, and we are gonna take that as well. So 
Sorry, something happened on Showdown that got my attention for a second. So uh, I think an Acrobatic should be able to take out the Arcanine here. And then... Uh, minus one does kind of hurt me a little bit. Do I need Tuppy Finny for anything else? Uh, not really. I can just go ahead and just Moonblast with some damage off onto the Tuppy Lele. It's fine. And he's actually going to protect this turn, which is fine. Uh, Acrobatics is going to come off onto the Arcanine. And that does pick up the KO onto Arcanine. And the Moonblast is going to go into the Protect. So, a perfect turn. I should have switched in uh, Cartana, but I didn't know if Acrobatics was going to pick up the kill onto the Arcanine. So, his Cartana is going to come out. How many turns of Tailwind do we have? We have uh, one turn of Tailwind left. Uh, I will just acrobatics the Cortana uh, and then go for a, a protect on the Finny. That'd be fine. The Finny is going to protect here. Katana is actually going to use the text. And does he Thunderbolt into Driplum again? Yes, he does. Okay. So good on my opponent. Uh, it's not Scarf, not, not Assault Vest, so he's probably Sashed. Uh, which is fine, I think. That'd be fine. So I really gotta get rid of this Cartana if I want to actually win this game. The so little Sacred Sword, and he's probably gonna Leaf Blade. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, so we'll just switch into uh, our Snarlax here. There's a Protect from the Tapu Lele. Katana is going to Leaf Blade into the top defending slot, as I predicted. That's going to activate uh, Snorlax's Figgy Berry. And that is not going to bring him down to a Sash, but another one should do the trick. Uh, so right now, I am just going to go in Smart Strike into the top Lele, and then get a uh, return off onto the Kartana. And we take that quite nicely. Top of is going to do Psychic into my Cortana. Uh, it doesn't do very much. Breaks my Sash, which is okay. Uh, we are going to get the Smart Strike off on the Top of Lele. And that actually picks up the KO, which is great. Get the Beast Boost. And the return goes off onto his Cortana, which is going to pick up the Knockout. So now we have a plus one Cortana, a Snorlax, and a uh, Tapu Finny in the back against a Braviary. Braviary is flying. Sacred Sword. He's normal flying, okay, so it'd be Sacred Sword with a neutral damage. That's good to go, and we will just uh, go ahead and recycle in case he doesn't target our Snorlax. So, Sacred Sword. And he goes for the Brave Bird. Onto the Kartana, it looks like. So Kartana's gonna go down here. Uh, he's gonna take a, re a little bit of recoil. And we're gonna get their cycle up. And get our Aya Papa Berry back. We're gonna nom on that. And get 50% of our health. Which on a Snorlax is always a good thing. Now we can bring Tuffy Finny here, who is that full health if I remember correctly? Yep, full health, and we can just Moon Blast and return into the Braviary slot. And 
and that should do it. Uh, as Moonglass comes off, we also get the Braviary. And yep, that is going to be uh, game number one this episode. So, uh, good switches. Uh, didn't really get to do any swaggering, unfortunately. Uh, he brought the Cartana, that was the main issue, because I didn't have my Arcanine this game. Uh, which I really didn't even think about. But luckily we switched around it uh, and were able to take him out. So good first game, and we will be right back when we get the next one. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, we got a 17-20 rated opponent from Japan next with a Tapu Fini, Coco, Arcanine, Nine Tails, Garchomp, and a Kartana. So an interesting team where uh, you would expect Nine Tails to have the Sash. Kartana might be scarfed. Uh, you really don't see too many assault vests running around anymore. Maybe Z move on Garchomp, or Z move on Arcanine, and maybe maybe leftovers on Fanny. Who knows? Um, I'm kind of interested in leading Arcanine and Kartana. Okay, and um, Garchomp could put in put in the work in this game and uh, Drift Bloom. Not gonna bring Drift Bloom. <laughs> what? If I bring in Snorlax, I'll have to worry about the Kartana. But we have answers to Kartana this time. And Snorlax could be a good switch in actually on a Z move, so we'll do that. We'll go this for. Uh, changing it up this is the first time I haven't led uh, Drift Bloom and uh, Tapu Fini, so we'll see how it goes. Make sure if you enjoyed this video, you let me know by leaving a like down below and subscribe to my channel for uh, more content so you know when I upload. And make sure you follow me on my Twitter right down here. And I also leave my Twitch and Twitter Twitter links in the description. So make sure you check those out too. Now the question is, oh shit. Yeah, it's not my pin. Question is, is he going to protect? Is he not going to protect? Is he going to let me get off this extreme speed? Is am I going to win a speed tie? Those are all good questions. Hopefully, he doesn't protect. Cause I would be really upset. As we patiently wait for him to decide what to do. Tabu Coco is going to protect. Alrighty then, we are going to extreme speed the Arc and our, my bad, the Nine Tails with our Arcanine. And he actually wants a speed tie, which is really unfortunate. But this smart strike's gonna come out and hopefully it should be able to pick up the knockout. Yeah, okay, good. So I get the Aurora Valve, so now we gotta dance around that for a little bit. Which is a little unfortunate. Coco's gonna be buffed by the hell, and this hail's gonna break my sash on my Kartana. So Garchomp's gonna come out. He just protected on Coco, and he doesn't have anything that can switch into an earthquake, so I am not really worried. But he could have the Z move actually on his Garchomp, so I think it'd be okay to protect here with both. Uh, that's what I'm gonna scout out: is the Tectonic Rage. Losing that speed tie really set me back. Protect. 
and protect. And T bolt into the Kartana. And he's actually gonna rock slide. Interesting. And he's not scarfed. As he would have went before the Coco. So we'll just double into to uh, top of Coco here. He's going for the Thunderbolt. And that's going to take us out on our Katana. And then he uses the uh, Z Tectonic Rage. So good plays, uh, waiting for my Protects to come out. Arcanine's gonna die here. We lost Cortana, so now it's gonna be up to Snorlax in the back and our own Garchomp. We'll double up in the guard chomp here. He is gonna de-gleam. And he's life orb Coco. He's gonna go for the rock side, Snorlax is going to avoid. Garchomp uses Dragon Claw onto his guard chomp. Alright, and then Rough Skin's gonna come in. High horsepower is going to connect onto his Garchomp. And that doesn't take it out. Mm, that's so unfortunate. Jeez. Last turn of hail, too. We are not winning right now. gonna de gleam again. Oh that got a crit. Of course, dude! Oh my god, why? We could have survived that easily. Ah uh, no. He's gonna rock slide. It's all out of control right now. Cartana's gonna come out. That uh, should be a good game. Uh, nothing that can be Cartana. So 
So we lost to stupid, stupid speed ties. Stupid speed ties and a critical hit. No wonder you're 1720, bro. All right, so uh, we've got 20 minutes in the video, so uh, we'll do one more today. It's a weekend, so I'm feeling pretty good. So we'll, we'll be right back after we get another game. All right, guys, 1661 from California. He's bringing a team of Muck, P2, Tapu Lele, Kartana, Garchomp, and the Arcanine. So we'll lead standard. Um. We'll bring Arcanine and Snorlax. That sounds good to me. No questions asked. Go with this team right here. So, Muck. Muck, Muck, Muck. Muck might make an appearance in this, uh, this, this time. Might lead Muck. Might lead Kartana. All possibilities. All right, there we go. All right, he's gonna bring his Arcanine Muck, and that is gonna be a solid lead, I think, coming out from him. Now let's play where's the Z move. His Arcanine has it, my Tapu Fini is dead if I don't protect. Uh, if he doubles into Drip Loom, Drip Loom is dead. Uh, he probably he can switch in Porygon 2 and go for Trick Room if I go for Tailwind. All possibilities here, but I don't see Porygon 2, so I'm gonna stick with a standard play. And actually, I'm gonna moon, uh, muddy, muddy water. I'm not going to protect. Arcanine does use Wild Charge, but it's not a Z move, and we should be okay. And he's Life Orb. Interesting. Muddy Water is going to come up. Uh, put him in range for another Muddy Water. Get an extra drop on Muck, which is great. And he goes for a knockoff. The Dripplum avoids the attack. I don't. Oh my god. I'll just go for it, dude. My, you freaking, freaking YOLO, man. Actually, you know what? Better idea. Better idea. So he's gonna withdraw Arcanine here and go into the P2. Uh, he's gonna get the download boost, which is gonna be attack. I'm gonna acrobatics into that slot. And I go for the moon blast onto his muck. He's gonna denom on that berry. And I go for the knockoff. And Drift Bloom is. <laughs> oh, Drift Bloom coming in clutch with. Oh my gosh. That's great. The good thing we didn't steal that berry because. Uh, it would have been bad. So now we can still the Eviolite. So the Eviolite onto the Porygon 2 and taunt it. So I'll take that, buddy. Give me that. You don't need that. There's the taunt. Muck is going to finally connect the knockoff. And he's going to knock off the Eviolite. That's fine. He can't trigger him after taunt. So we can sack here. He 
He's gonna poison jab into the uh, Tatu Finny. That's gonna take her out, and then probably a T Bolt coming out, or an Ice Beam, or a Tri Attack, which doesn't affect me. Okay. There's Snorlax out here. And I'm pretty sure I also beat both of them already with a uh, Drifloon. So I'll just swagger my own muck and go for a high horsepower onto his. Swagger my own Snorlax, God, what? Uh, so he's gonna Shadow Sneak. Uh, that's gonna take out Drifloon. That's fine. We weren't gonna get Tailwind up anyway, and he's just gonna Ice Beam. No freezes on the Misty Terrain. High horsepower is going to come in and KO the muck. Hot wars off, but that's fine because we have Snorlax on the field. Well, Arcanine is going to come back out. His Arcanine should come back out. His Arcanine is faster than my Arcanine, which is interesting. We can E-Speed into him. And go ahead and Curse our Snorlax. He's going to Protect. He's going to Ice Beam. Snorlax again. We get the curse. And we will extreme speed one more time into the Arcanine. Get one more curse off because we are selfish like that. So down his Arcanine goes. He's going to go for an Ice Beam again. Trying to get the freeze on the Snorlax. We get another curse up. All great and dandy. And he's going to bring out Kartana. Interesting. He's going to uh, protect Cartana, which is an interesting play, I think. I think if he just went for a Sacred Sword, he might have got the KO. Now he attacks into Arcanine. Interesting. So Cartana protects, he's going to go for the Sacred Sword. Not going to be able to pick up the KO. Katana is going to go down to his Sash. We're going to hit by Recoil. He to use his Tri Attack. Takes down Arcanine. And we are going to return onto the Katana. But now we have an interesting 1v1 versus a Porygon 2. So we'll predict the try attack. Yep. That's gonna pop my berry. Allow me to recycle. Uh, this is gonna take a while. All right. So we will go ahead and return the Porygon too without its Eviolite. He's just gonna go for try hacks.
And one more return to do it. He can recover, but he's not gonna get it. I mean, we're still gonna do over 50%, I think. Uh, yeah, that's in, that, that, yep, that's gonna be game over. Right there. Yep, yeah, and that's gonna be uh, game three, guys. So today we're gonna pick up two wins and one loss. Uh, it's a pretty crappy loss, to be honest with you. Uh, we sh we, we could have we could have won that. Just you know, RNG with speed ties and other nonsense. You know, Garchomp surviving on, on one HP, but whatever. Hail ending in one. You know, you know stuff like that. But whatever. Uh, I probably misplayed somewhere in there, so I can't blame the game on everything. You know. Sometimes you just gotta take responsibility for your uh, your own uh, actions and plays, and I probably will watch that video over and see what I could have done better. Uh, maybe I should have led led better uh, instead of changing it up. But I thought I could win the speed tie and prevent the over avail, but that didn't happen. So yep. And if you like this video, let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below, so I get to know how many people are enjoying my videos every day. And hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on when I upload all my content. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Peace. I took her out. It was a Friday night. I walk alone to get the feeling right. We started making out, and she took off my pants. But then I turned on the TV. And that's about the time she walked away from me